WITH THE WARM WEATHER UPON US, THERE IS NO BETTER WAY TO SPEND YOUR FREE TIME THAN HEADING OUTSIDE. BUT THAT COULD BE A LITTLE DANGEROUS WITH AN INCREASING NUMBER OF PEDESTRIANS AND BICYCLISTS SHARING THE ROADS WITH CARS. VALLEY NEWS TEAM'S NATALIE PARSONS TELLS US HOW TO STAY SAFE ON THE ROADS THIS SUMMER. Jerry Fisher of Moorhead uses his bike as his main source of transportation, especially when the weather gets nice. It may sound great at first, but he knows firsthand just how unsafe these roads can be. Well, I'll be very careful not to uh, get run over like I already have been twice. Fisher says he knows the rules of the roads. As for the vehicles, he's not so sure. Well, I had the green light and I was going across the street and this lady didn't see me, so. She pulled out without looking and smashed me off my bike. Fargo police say recent changes in the vehicles that we drive can interfere with your frame of view. Pillars on the vehicles, many contain airbags now, so they've gotten wider. Making it difficult for drivers to not see the bicyclists, but those pedestrians on the road as well. As people go on their busy daily lives, we again want to remind them that you should watch out for pedestrians everywhere you're going. Besides downtown Fargo, West Acres and the NDSU campus are some of the most dangerous areas for pedestrians and bicyclists. Cross at the crosswalks, not in the center of the road. And pedestrians do have the right of way at crosswalks, which aren't governed by traffic signals. Otherwise, pedestrians must follow the walk and do not walk signals. In Fargo, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. A reminder for those out riding their bikes, Fargo police say that you should not ride your bike on the sidewalk, but use the labeled bike lanes on the roads instead. Rep